How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to another Dragon Faber video. So for those of you guys who don't know this week's release, we already have the uh, In at the Age of Time challenge. So I already did a guide on that. So if you want to know how to beat it, you can check out the video. Okay, the card to that video will be in the top right hand corner right now. So I've beaten the challenge using uh, Belltales Aventail Soul Weaver. That means it is available for most of the players who at least have a dragon amulet but there are also some very uh, exciting changes that came this week that I wasn't able to cover in that video so first of all we have the blood feral gear okay and that is uh, this month which is October's uh, monthly DC gear so let's check it out celebrate October with some fashionable blood feral gear this color custom cape and helm are sure to strike fear into your prey okay so let's take a look at it uh, blood feral visage okay uh, level 90 helm or resist 5, uh, BPD 8, crit 5, MPM 5, you have your endurance and charisma at 15, luck at 15, main stat 12, and bonus 5. Okay, so this is obviously not as good as the best in slot helm in the game, which uh, currently is your ancient dragon lord helm. Okay, this helm is still better uh, mainly because of the health resist, the all resist, and of course the immobility resistance. Sure, you lose out a little bit of main stat and some other stats here and there, but all resist 5 is really, really huge. Okay, if you want to look at the best in slot offensive helm in the game, which is the distorted doom visage, Right here, you have a crit 15 and main stat 18. This one, uh, you you get 10 lesser crit. So, yeah, this helm is not the best helm. You can get it for the artwork. Personally, I think the artwork doesn't look that great. So, uh, it's really up to your own taste and preference. So, I would actually pass this up. Next, the Blood Fairer Cape. Okay, so, this one, the cape actually looks pretty good. Okay, so, the artwork for this cape, I quite like it. Again, it's up to your personal preference if you want to get it or not. BPD 7, crit 10, MPM 5, endurance 8, charisma 6, luck 8, main stat 15, bonus 10, or resist 15, darkness 8. So you get a whopping 13 darkness resist on this cape. I think it is tight uh, for one of the... Actually, I'm not I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on this. I don't know if it's the best in slot for darkness resist cape. No, it isn't. Uh, of course, you have the wings of the 1000 infernos. That one gives 15 instead of 13 so that one is better okay let's compare with the current best in slot back item in the game right now which is the ring the wings of the unraveler tree this one bpd 10 crit 10 mpm 5 uh yeah so this one all resist 10 again it is nowhere uh near as good as the best in slot back item in the game so these two items only get it if you're going after the cosmetics if not you can pass up the two items now another very exciting change we have in the game is uh let me see if i have my defenders medals inside here yes i do okay so let us head into any shop right now we'll go to the inn okay and you can see here i can now choose a number to sell instead of selling them one by one that is absolutely fantastic so one go i'm not going to sell 5,000 obviously that'd be a waste so let's sell two and see so five zero three uh, five thousand thirty four right now if i sell two i get two gold and it's now sold by two so this is a very very huge quality of life change that many people has wanted for a long time you no longer have to sell the items one by one so you can sell all a hundred of your scrap metals at one shot if you're farming volta boat you can sell of your uh, ninja tokens at one shot if you are farming a uh, go in the uh, arena at the age of time once again if you would like to look for farming spots you can check out my farming guide okay the link to that video will be uh, in the card uh, in the card up on the top right hand corner right now so you can check out my farming guide and this is amazing for years in dragon favor people have wanted an option to sell these stackable items more than one at a time and now Finally, after I don't know how many years, it's definitely more than 10 years already. Is it has it been 15 years yet? I'm I can't even remember how old Dragon Fever is, but yeah, after more than 10 years, we finally get it, guys. So, huge quality of life change right here, and uh, really props to the developers, both uh, Dove and uh, Valerius, for actually implementing this into the game. You know, better late than never, right? So, 
Oh uh, no, I'm really happy with this change and I really hope to see more exciting changes next. Also, Mogulwin is uh, just round the corner here. I don't have my uh, seasonal borders turned on, so let's turn that on and we're really getting into the Mogulwin spirit right now. Okay, so the uh, Mogulwin storybook should be live by the time uh, this video is released to you guys. Verly did say that uh, they actually forgot about it and they will release the uh, Mogulwin storybook on Monday. Okay, uh, Verly actually said that on Twitter, so you guys can check back on Monday. I believe this video will be released on Monday as well. I don't know if I will release the video first or if the Mogulwin storybook will get released first. So uh, do check out the Mogulwin storybook and go ahead and um, do the uh, Mogulwin past year quests if you haven't already. I don't expect this year's quests to be out yet. They'll probably come with next week's release, but uh, for those of you guys who are still catching up on the past year uh, Mogulwin stor uh, stories, or if you just want to do some uh, trick or treating, haven't collected all the masks from the past years, you guys can do so once the storybook is out. So that's it for this very short uh, Dragon Fable update video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corey Run Gaming. Peace out.